And I would walk 500 miles. And I would walk 500 more. Just to be the man who'd walk 1,000 miles. Just to fall down at your door. You didn't write that. I know. Kobe did. If you thought ISIS was bad, well, there are new troublemakers on the streets, threatening to beat up your kids for half the price. They call themselves The Punks, and Melbourne branch Pronto have recently released this manifesto. Matt, is society over? I think you'd, you'd probably think so from the opening 10 seconds on this record. It's, it's pretty bombastic. It hits you in the face. It's just like full-on assault of cymbals and searing guitar leads and just huge garage punk rhythm guitars. It's great, and they've cranked everything up in the like the vocals are like pretty low in the mix, so you got that proper, that real like good Melbourne punk sounding like production values of it's just so like lo-fi and kind of like mm. just they're in the room, you know, just every just the fuzz of the noise of them playing. So yeah, the singers actually got to like yell over the top of the mm. the caterwaul, which sounds great. And despite it being like pretty like fucking brrr, like heavy and noisy and kind of lo-fi, like they've definitely got their pop hooks. Yeah. Uh, like, this is a hooky band. Mm. It's a 26 minute record, so it just like pumps through it all, which isn't to say that it's just all the tracks are really short and fast and sweet, mm. which is great. I felt like the hi-hats and the cymbals are truly fucking deafening in the mix. The piercing. Yeah, and it does form like a bit of a barrier between the listener and I guess the full aggression of the album, because you kind of just reach for the volume knob as soon as you hear it, you just hear that. that like intense frequency. <laughs> Apart from that, yeah, the lo-fi thing does it for me really well. For me, I, I'd give this a, a solid three zacks and half a gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Archie. I mean, it's great. It's just a great fun punk release from a punk band that I think will, as far as I can tell, keep pumping out great punk releases and anthemic punk. I reckon it's a, I'm gonna give it three zacks and half a gotchi as well. Listen to this record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Archie. La Bamba. Obla di, obla da. Do wa diddy, diddy dum diddy do. Viva Las Vegas. It seems like musicians have been singing about utter shit for years now, but that hasn't stopped Yola Tango, who bring us their new covers album, Stuff Like That There. But Zach, did they do Wonderwall justice? Thankfully not, in that they didn't perform that mm. song. But they did do many other songs mm. justice. I mean, for me, I'm, I'm a, I think Yola Tango are just one of the best bands in the world. They're certainly reaching the, the elder statesman phase of their career. And you can hear that on this record. I mean, the covers are all primarily like 60s tracks, then very 60s influenced pop style mm. tracks performed very gracefully, very softly. I mean, I think that the biggest star of this record is um, Ira Kaplan's just mm. exceptional guitar playing. I feel like Kaplan's guitar is more in the fore because there's a lot of songs here where George is singing. And ordinarily, I guess, Kaplan generally takes uh, lead vocals in most of their recordings. It's just great to hear her voice. I mean, on first listen, it does just sound like everything is really soft and really beautiful and really fragile, which, you know, Yola Tango are well known for doing, but also Yola Tango can be really noisy, can be really experimental. That's kind of all gone. Like this is very much just Yola Tango play songs they like very softly mm. and very sweetly. Mm. If you need like a soft, beautiful record, you're probably going to struggle to find. It's good Dido. Yeah, it's, you know. yeah, it's better than, put it on instead of the Dido yeah, record, yeah. certainly. I mean, it's so relentlessly just beautiful. And the song selection is excellent. It's about 60% just really great covers. A couple of new ones, which are both gorgeous. Mm. One and fit so well with the covers. That's the best thing about this album, I think, is, is how well the originals and the covers of their own um, older songs and, and the covers of the classics as well, all just seem to fit so perfectly. They're not pushing themselves here out of like into unfamiliar territory, but that doesn't change the fact that this is perhaps one of just the sweetest, nicest listens from top to bottom mm. that you can have. It's a real treat of a record. I'd recommend it to anyone that likes music. <laughs> lazy Sundays, Joan Dorey's a bit of spot of gardening. Yeah, it's such a lazy Sunday record. Put yeah. it on at your Christmas lunch, Ooh, you know. Yeah. It's a great record. I'm going to give it four zacks. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's three zacks and half a gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotcha. And we'll see you next week on At The Music. Oh, don't count your chickens until they've hatched, Matt. Who said that?
Kobe Bryant, baseball superstar. 